YouTube welcome back to my channel if you're new here hey hello my name is Terry um, and today I'm gonna be giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to successfully become a Sims 4 youtuber um yeah so let's just get into the video so I'm gonna be doing the video in segments um so it's much easier for you guys to understand what I'm trying to say so the first segment is going to be why do you want to do YouTube why do you want to make sims content and let me just say this if it's for the money <laughs> i just i'm just gonna tell you i'll give up because you're gonna make money in the long run but do not start something off and just think oh i'm gonna make money don't start something and just be like i'm gonna make the money that's why i'm doing it you gotta do it because you have passion for it like me i'm a sh i'm a small youtuber as you guys can see right here i'm a small youtuber but i'm doing my thing right i'm doing my thing i'm just gradually growing and growing and growing and growing that's all you really could do um but if you're gonna do this and you don't have any passion whatsoever for it and you just have the passion for the money get something else do something else not this you have to have passion for the game and you're gonna be like just do do it because you really want to do it do it because you feel like it's a necessity like you feel like if you don't do it you're like your heart is gonna break or something do it because you really want to do it and you have that aspiration to do it next segment the next segment is basically what type of content are you gonna make so what i do i make all type of content regarding the sims 4 i do reviews i do let i do let's plays i do builds and like I do mod reviews and I do CC shopping as you guys can see and stuff like that and I do cast cast videos so it really depends on what content you're gonna make what you feel like you need to make if you're just gonna make cast videos that's fine you find your passion that's what you like to do yada 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 we get that you love doing that that's you're gonna that's what you like to do so you just stick with that but if you want to expand what you um are doing like let's just say you like to do everything you like to do a little bit of everything which i like to do um i feel like that's every doing everything just makes me not get bored of the sims and the channel and my channel and it just makes me more interested in what i'm doing and stuff like that so it's re you really just got to figure out what type of content you're going to be posting like and just try to make a schedule based on what you are going to be making like what content and stuff like that so on to the third segment okay guys so the next segment is tools basically this segment is what you need to start being like a content creator for the sims 4 so the first thing you need is a monitor it could be a monitor um a game a laptop just something that has um good quality like good graphics and the ipu and stuff like that are good don't know much about computers or stuff like that i'm just gonna be reading off from what i see so this is the monitor that i have i don't know if it's via is if it's vic tech or biotech i'm not sure <laughs> but we're just gonna get into the reading so this is a scratch and den gfi 27 qx8 and it's 27 inches um this is the ips 4k udh 120 hz gaming monitor and it's 144 hc and it's an overclock 1 ms od hdr i have no idea what none of those mean but you guys could go research more into that so this monitor could go to like it could go vertical and horizontal um that's really good because you could use this monitor for a um a side monitor or you could use the monitor monitor as a main monitor and there's two type of monitors that they have now that are on shop deals this one is 32 inches so it's bigger than this one and it's on sale and it's 279 dollars and i think that's a good deal i feel like that's a good deal okay it's 32 inches it's like a, it's like a tv okay you got a tv that's really good like the bigger the monitor i feel like the better like you could see everything and you probably don't need like a second monitor if you have like a huge monitor but since i had the 27 one i got another monitor which i'm going to show you guys in a second but let me go and show you guys the so you guys could go check this out i'm gonna also put this in my um description but let's go over and head to the cpu and let me show you guys which cpu um i have so heading over to my cpu this is the one that i have by sky tech gaming i still do like i don't know what happened to my cpu but i think it needs a little bit of fixing and stuff like that but this is a really good cpu i've had it for like a while 
um it runs really well and everything like that the graphics i think is really good like everything that makes it up is good and stuff like that the primary hard drive is a one terabyte which i feel like is good for like if you play the sims with a lot of custom content but i i, I had to get a hard drive y'all because i have a lot of cc but i i could tell you invest in a hard drive that's a good uh, that's good as well to have y'all i'm so sorry i'm getting double tongued um this has four fans a, a cpu cooler it has a case which is the black case that's the one that i have um uh, yeah the warranty is one year parts labor and shipping support lifetime technical support so i am going to go ahead and actually call them up and get mine checked out because i don't know if i did something i probably did something to it because i again as i said i am no crafty handy with with um electronics okay so you guys could go ahead and look into that i'm actually going to show you guys my second monitor that i use for like um my chat box and stuff like that when i'm streaming and stuff like that okay so i have the cnc 24 inch monitor ips display computer monitor with belgian speaker 100 hertz i think that's just i don't know monitor vesa mount with display port hdmi vga input so if you're getting this you have to get um i think a vga cord um i had to really search for that because they didn't have it um in some stores so i had to like do a whole lot of um cord in making the cords work with yeah i had to do a lot of that um but yeah so the thing is this is actually a 24 inch and the monitor that i'm running on right now is a 27 inch like my main monitor so it's only like a ugh, i can't even do the math right now y'all get the point it's like only a little bit of a difference um but i put this at the side and i turn it like i turn it i could turn it straight lean it don't matter um and i use this for my chat box my softwares that i need for when i'm in the game and i don't want to come out of the game and it just makes my life so much easier for when i'm streaming and also when i'm recording a video because right now i'm looking at my i'm looking at that screen and seeing what you guys are seeing right now so it's easier for me to like you know it's easier for me to gravitate um using this with yeah it's just easier for me to gravitate using this monitor it's really ch affordable it's actually really cheap it's 86 dollars and 39 cents and i think you know, do you have free shipping I don't think you have free shipping with this, but if you do have, Am yeah, you do get free delivery actually. If you have Amazon Prime, you're good. You're set. You're set. Okay, and you could even get a little coupon, um, cause I think Amazon gives away coupons and stuff like that, and it's on limited time deal because it was ninety ninety five ninety nine. So go ahead and check this out, and we are going to move on to the another segment okay so the other segment is creating content so as you guys notice um i when i'm doing like live streams and stuff like that i put out like um when i'm gonna go live stream i put up like a little poll or whatever on my um community for you guys and this is like my schedule it's really important to have a schedule this was like um last week like two weeks ago schedule i'm kind of lacking and slacking and not putting out no schedule but i'm gonna get back to that okay just just trust in me okay i will get back out there and start putting my schedules up so you guys know what i'm doing um and my schedules will be posted weekly they will be updated weekly so you guys do know that do know when you're gonna get your video gonna get a live stream gonna be on twitch gonna be on youtube y'all will know and y'all will know what we were doing on the live stream and I will also put like up like a live stream schedule for at the live section so you guys can go check it out. I did it for all of these live streams that I had in the past. And you guys could just go and click notification um, for when I'm live. But let me just get back into the con content creating. So basically when you're, you need to set a plan for when you're content creating. Like you need to set your days, schedule, you need to schedule your days. Cause I know like it's hard, like you have a life and life gets in the way of stuff. But you just need to like, what's the word plan your life properly like plan it uh, um with your channel as well so i try to do that but sometimes you know it's life it, you don't know what's getting thrown at you and you just got to work with what you get but i try my best to be organized and i feel like when you're more organized you can go about doing and working with your channel more easily so we're gonna get, go ahead and move on to the next segment okay so the next segment is gonna be about thumbnails so i've realized that people they gravitate to 
pretty like good thumbnails and as you guys can see i'm trying my best to i'm not an artist but i'm trying my best to come up with really good thumbnails so i'm gonna go to my most popular videos and show you guys some thumbnails um that i put from my most popular videos you guys are just gonna see stuff see like what's out there you know so how to get um how to download g shade that one was really popular i'm guessing because of the thumbnail and how pretty it looked um this one i have no idea how y'all liked it i didn't like it at all but these ones i um the ones with my sims that i created this is my old sim y'all y'all can believe how much i grew because look at this this is my old sim y'all and this is my new sims like you y'all would never believe how much i grew like look at my new sims but yeah so it's really about good thumbnailing and i feel like people gravitate to your channel when your thumbnails are on point and they're precise okay so just go ahead and make sure that you get your thumbnails right and also what you could use to get your thumbnails good um i use canva i feel like canva is easy to use and when i'm trying to make my thumbnails as you can see here this was my thumbnail for a live um that i was doing all i do is i just go search up youtube thumbnails over here and then it would give me like a like its size and everything and i just go ahead and make a thumbnail and it's also good for you to have like a banner like a banner and a good a good quality um profile picture for your youtube channel you got to have a good profile picture if y'all need some little help doing anything for that sort of thing i will help you guys just put a comment in um in the comment below and I will help you guys. But make sure that your your um your thumbnails, your banner, your profile picture is really good because that's what attracts people. And I'm gonna go to my least popular videos for you guys to see like what's like what um what let me see what thumbnail is not like good. You know what I mean? So I would go to my oldest videos. Most of my oldest videos, like this one. This one, I didn't, I was just new to making thumbnails and I didn't know what to do. As you guys can see, <laughs> it looks horrible. But I pro, okay, this is my old thumbnail, y'all. And then look at my new thumbnail. Look at my newest thumbnail, which is this one, the one that y'all just saw in Canva. So it's really good to progress on your thumbnails and stuff like that and your banners and your pictures. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next segment. I lost count of how much numbers it's been already. So the next segment is going to be about uploading your videos. So um, what I use just to get started, I do not use OBS. I've had a problem with OBS since the beginning. Um, I cannot get my whole sim screen on OBS like thing or whatever. It's not working with me. So what I use, I use Streamlabs desktop and I think it runs really well. I'm using the 1.16.4 version. I think it runs really well with what I'm doing. And then for to edit my videos, I actually use CapCut. And y'all are saying CapCut is um like it's not good y'all y'all are beefing like it's really good like it helps me edit my videos and stuff like that it's really easy to work with i feel like if you're just new to everything and you do not know what's going on i feel like CapCut is a really safe and easy route for you to go to um and you do not need to spend like you have you they say you there's like things that you might want on CapCut that you have to spend your money for such as well canva i don't do that i use the free stuff because honey i need to see the money before i spend the money okay so that's that i'm not gonna spend any money i just use what i have and i feel like it still comes out really good like my videos are coming out great um yeah so you just after you record your videos you edit your videos um using CapCut, um and then you go into canva you make your thumbnail for your video what i like to do is actually take thumbnails like take a picture in my game and use those as the thumbnails i feel like that gives people like a more in-depth view of where they're gonna see in your video and they're like oh oh my god like there's a cute couple i feel like that gets them interested in watching your video and that's great that's wonderful so after that i don't think i'm missing anything else in the up uploading um segment but like if you guys have any more questions uh, regarding this segment just you know i'm not i'm not far away there's a comment there's a comment box y'all could just comment okay we're gonna move on to the next segment the next segment is consistency i know you guys might be saying how like life gets in the way of things i can't be consistent because right now i'm not consistent i haven't posted like a video in in how long 
in three weeks and I know that's not very consistent of me because I used to post week after um, month after I mean week after week I used to put a month a month two months two months three months three months three months four months four months six months yeah I took a whole break <laughs> right here but if you want to take breaks let your channel know take if you're taking a break like I did let your channel know what you're gonna do um just give them a quick reminder so they're not like did she bail on us you know and stuff like that so i feel like just being consistent and if you're not gonna post um like regularly put out a little reminder because i say i can post videos when i can in my description i have it there just because i don't know when i'm gonna be able to post all the time and that's that's something that i i can't control when i can post when i can post because life happens you know but i do try to be as consistent as possible and this is really all that i have to say for the consistency segment so we're gonna go to move on to the next segment last but not least this is the last segment and all i have to say to you guys is to be original yes i said it i know we're all playing the same game and stuff like that but you just need to follow your own vibe do what you like to do don't go and copy some another simmer and be like oh she does this or he does this so i have to do this or because i feel like that's gonna get me most views. people like you or what you post and what you feel like you enjoy People are not going to watch you if they see you and someone else have the same content. Like, I know, well, p some people are, but, like, you got, you just got to be different. Like, if they see you do the same exact thing, they're going to be like, I already watched this before. I don't need to watch it again. That's so boring. Make it fun. Like, stop being boring. Be original. Be you. Like, I know you might see someone doing something on their channel and you're like oh i want to do it too because uh, you get your video inspirations like that do it but if you're gonna do that come up with your own things make it look like you make it your version of it don't copy anybody else's and be like oh i naturally came up with this video like i'm gonna do it it's mine i made it up no don't do that be original and do what you need to do for yourself make it your own thing and when you do that trust me <laughs> you're gonna explode okay <laughs> but yeah so i do hope you guys enjoyed this video though I, it was really exciting for me as well it's kind of like it was like a this video is like a self-reflection for me and i do enjoy that i got to really reflect on something that i have been doing wrong for a while and um hopefully well positively for sure you guys are going to be getting more content you guys are going to be seeing me a lot on your youtube um homepage. yes i'm getting there someday and i'm getting there soon so, um, I do hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Um, and yeah, make sure your heart is always hearting and I'll see you guys in another one. Bye. They call it back, 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 but they just make us see the realest.